Welcome to Ashonda at Large, where we discuss faith, family, and the future of our community. I want to thank y'all so much for joining me once again. Um, I wanted to share some information that I found, um, as a matter of fact, not too long ago. And so I decided to get on and do a quick recording so that you all can see concerning the specific word. I'm going to spell it D-E-L-T-A. Um, and you can put variant behind that. So I want you all to take a look at what I found on this screen here. So you all will see this is from a company called Cision PR Newswire. Um, this is an article that's written by them regarding this uh, technology. And it says, Delta launches new energy, efficient solutions for 5G and lot edge computing e-mobility and smart manufacturing at its digital exhibition. Now, this article was written on July 17, 2020. So this was a little over a year ago when this article was written. And a few months ago, the world was introduced to the new variant. So let's take a look and see what they have to say. Delta, a global leader in power and thermal management solutions, today launched an innovative digital exhibition under the theme, Pioneering Energy Efficient Infrastructure Technologies to unveil new smart and energy efficient solutions for 5G and IoT edge computing, e-mobility, as well as smart manufacturing. These include the smart node modularized data center solution for fast and flexible implementation of energy efficient edge computing data centers, okay? So it's telling you what the push is for, specifically the number five and the word and the letter G, okay? Stick with me, people. You understand what I'm talking about. Commenting on DELTA EMEA's innovative digital exhibition, Dr. Dalip Sharma, president and general manager blank for Europe, Middle East, and Africa explained, during the current pandemic environment, we stay ahead of the curve by providing an innovative and sustainable platform to present our pioneering energy efficient infrastructure technologies. In fact, our new modularized data center solution, ultra fast EV charger and digital system for smart manufacturing echo these mission to provide innovative clean and energy efficient solutions for a better tomorrow by being able to meet the demands of our customers in an ever changing world. So you guys, I don't have to continue to read this. I will read a little bit about, Delta, about the D company. It says D founded in 1971 as a global provider of switching power supplies and thermal management products with a thriving portfolio of smart energy saving systems and solutions in the fields of industrial automation, building automation, telecom power, data center infrastructure, EV charging, renewable energy, energy storage and display to, to nurture the development of smart manufacturing and sustainable cities. Do y'all hear that? Sustainable cities. Okay, that's where they're going with this. As a world-class corporate citizen guided by its mission statement to provide innovative, clean and energy efficient solutions for a better tomorrow, D leverages its core competence in high efficiency power electronics and a CSR embedded business model to address key environmental issues, such as dun, 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 climate change. D serves customers through its sales offices, R&D centers and manufacturing facilities spread over close to 200 locations across five continents. So um, they've received a lot of global awards and recognition for their business achievements. And I just, I'm going to put the link to this description, to this, to this, um, to this particular article in the description box. But what I wanted you all to get an opportunity to see is that since last year, this whole push for um, climate change, the pandemic, all of these things, they're all coming into the same direction. If you follow the pattern, everything is going into the same direction. So when they're telling you 
okay, this has to do with a particular variant of this particular pandemic. And then they tell you it's the India variant and you see that the head of this organization is out in Asia and Africa, then you have to ask yourself, I mean, at least a thought provoking individual um, would ask themselves, okay, what is really going on? Okay, why are we being fed this idea that there's this so-called variant that just happens to have the same name as this company that's pushing a certain type of technology? I mean, I really, I really want us to really put our thinking caps on because what we need to understand is that all of what we're seeing coming uh, before us is pushing the world in one direction. And that direction, whether we like it or not, is to take the, the essence of the most high, the essence of the, 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 the being in the likeness and the image of the most high completely out of humans, okay? This is what the push is about. It's all about this transhumanism stuff. It's just like Yahushua said, that is as in the days of Noah, so shall it be before the coming of the son of man. So we need to understand that when they're telling us that the unlollipopped are the ones that we should be going after because they're the ones that are the super spreaders and they're the ones that are causing all of us to continue to have to be in these lockdowns, like the quote unquote climate lockdown that they're talking about coming up next. They're the reason why we have to keep masking. And if we'd only get that, that lollipop, then we'll all be able to return back to quote unquote normal, okay? So we have to really look at the whole plan behind what's going on because in reality, those of us who have a discerning spirit because we are born again, okay? I, I wanna make that very clear. If you're born again, if you say you're born again, then you should be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh whose job is to lead and guide you into all truth. So those of us who are born again are like, no, this is not gonna happen. Now there are a lot of religious people out there. There are a lot of religious people, Christians, Muslims, um, Buddhist, atheists. Yeah, atheists are religious too. There's a lot of religious people out here that are all in agreement with the same agenda, okay? So I don't care about your religious affiliation. What I'm telling us that we need to start doing is opening up our eyes, our spiritual eyes, the eyes of our understanding and seeing where everything is leading to. So I just wanna share this with you all really quickly. I'm not going to prolong this. I'm not gonna be long-winded. I want to encourage all of you to continue to fast and pray. This is why we fast and pray. This is why we have the 714 movement to fast and to pray because our hope and our help comes from above. What is the point of having a savior if you don't need to be saved? Understand the most high is allowing us to be put into a perfect storm so that we might put our full faith and our full trust in him for the days ahead. So guys, that's all I have for you all today. Be sure to check out our website at 714movement.com. That's www.714movement.com and get great content that's going to minister to your spirit in this day and this time. Um, as always, family, love yourselves without hating your enemies. And until next time, family, y'all bless and salamah. Thank you.